and for some reason holding a knife like this like it just it's just not the same like it feels like somebody can slap this at your hand or you know just it's just not as effective to me than having it in a defensive mode that like that no just both modes brady and then, but that's what i'm saying it it's supposed to it looks like a defensive mode but it's really offensive too oh yeah i'm just this ain't gonna kill you bro like, i got you around your neck <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think, that's, I think that's what most people would think initially. You stab like yeah. this to break your wrist. You know, come on, people. Right. right. But if I'm, like if I'm watching a lifetime movie, I, w- I would see them grab the knife or a Tubi movie and, ha- and hold it like this, trying to trying to fend somebody off. No, no, that's the women trying to threaten you, Brennan, because they ain't trying to kill you, <laughs> Brennan. That's why it's all this. The women hold a knife like this. They don't uh, want to try to kill you. <laughs> they just making you now. This is they want to make you sweat, or they want to make you. <laughs> this, no, you. this what? holding like this, your perimeter is huge. <laughs> okay, holding like this, uh-huh. I'm up close and personal, but I'm deadly. If you come, <laughs> if you get in the space, <laughs> I'm deadly. Right, this for real. One, I yeah. ain't deadly, but my right. perimeter is wide. <laughs> You know, I'm right, that's why. So, which one you want, Brandon? Which one you want? The defensive for your wife. one. For the your wife. one. Which I want her to her to do. I don't want to do none of them. I but don't care. If you I see it. it this way, if I see it this way, I'd rather her being like this. Okay, yeah, because this one may hopefully the swing it. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want none of that. Yeah. See this one. Is it? It's gonna it, draw a person close. <laughs> But that person you got you about to get stabbed. But let me let me ask you this: Is it smart to just if if you were dealing with a woman and she pick up a weapon and is trying to be combative, is it smart just to leave, or is it is it smart to try to grab it, try to disarm her, try no, to you try calm to her run, down, Brandon? Okay, but, but I don't think people Brandon, know that. Huh? In Go this ahead. clip, in five minutes, how many lives did this lady say, Brandon? At least five. And watch this. Lying over a state phone, aka mm-hmm. body cam. Yeah. If they want to go all the way, Brandon, they, they can, can get you with tampering, lying through. They can yeah, get yeah, you yeah. with a lot of things. Yeah. Because you was under the investigation, you provided false information. Yeah, you was not cooperative. Then you you lied. Then you resisting arrest here. So I mean, it's just it's just all bad. She well, didn't do we anything. Well, right. we we don't know what she lied. She was supposed to talk on this subject. <laughs> she refused to talk on this this day, August the twenty second, two thousand and twenty two, mm-hmm. at that clock is oh just nine o'clock in the morning. God damn, they fighting at nine thirty. <laughs> they get up here doing and turn this. Up. They turn she <laughs> cursing like that at nine thirty. Most most black people ain't even up. Yeah, I had to look. I said, see, I had to just change every. I said, this phone it could be in military time. So I look, but that's mm-hmm. a regular nine twenty five yeah. in the morning. Right. Man, so the fight probably happened about eight o'clock because cops ain't getting out there that early. He in the bushes in the morning. What's wrong with being in the bushes in the morning? He, 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 watch. Yeah, boy, boy, I bet you this what happened. He went over there, got him some poop natty. Probably he got us some poop natty. See, somebody, somebody dropped, dropped him off. <laughs> Brad with his car at Brandon. Right, that's what I'm about to now say. Now I'm now I'm making up this part. Now a black man will walk up the road before he hires some bushes. I say, it must be some dogs up there. Right. <laughs> he didn't right. want right. to get to. That's right. the only thing going to stop him. Right. Because yeah. the last thing a black person want to do is see a dog and have to run and be panting like that. Yeah. And he had to jump for the run to the dog into some bushes on top of somebody else's car. <laughs> God, nobody. Start tearing his shirt and everything. And the problem is, he ain't the crazy thing about black people. If it ain't no pet bull, that dog or anything like that, that dog it's not ain't gonna, gonna do nothing. Ain't gonna try to attack you, and kill you. Right? It just wanna fuck with you. You know. <laughs> I know. I think we talked about it one time. Like if a dog sees you running, it's gonna naturally want to run after you. Unless just two re- of them. <laughs> now here's the thing about animals. Neighbor's dog is example. I kind of know about. Uh, one dog will act different. Mm-hmm. Then two dog dogs. Mm-hmm. One dog would give another dog a huge confidence or follow the leader. Yeah. So it may change behaviors of both dogs. You're right. Like 
one dog up here, the small one, she won't, if she by herself outside, she's like a, she's like a, ruff, ruff. <laughs> but if she's with her brother, she's like a bulldog pulling, yeah. ah, let me get this motherfucker <laughs> right here. Right, right. The neighbor's dog doing the same thing. The pet bull that was just one, Brennan, never mm-hmm. left this yard. That's why we ain't never had a problem, brother. You see? <laughs> right. It just looked. You see how things work? Never yeah. left this yard. Yeah. The other pet bull comes. Now people, now pet bulls different. leaving the yards. Yeah. Mm. Bad influence. Right. Yeah. So people the same way. Man, and this is a dog. The neighbors can't figure it out. They won't know. See, they don't uh, people don't know what hurts. People don't know what hurt you put hold on. You don't know what hurt you put on other people to your accent. Mm, that's true. You don't. You can know. assume, but you don't know. Do you assume it in? Yeah. No, but assume you won't even know, Brandon. Who if know? I'm mad, who know? I'm uh, mad about some damn hamburgers. Not, uh, pickles, <laughs> well, no, pickles, uh, and onions, and a hamburger, Brandon. <laughs> no, I wouldn't know unless you told me. And she probably oh, still don't know. She rubbed yeah. it off. Yeah. You see. I got you. But yeah, you don't know how you hurt somebody till you go ask them. Most people don't want to ask them. Yeah. Because they're afraid to get a, uh, what the, have a the, real conversation or the, the Migos. Have a of... They're afraid of a straightening. Mm-hmm. You know, I ain't never listened to that song, but I, that was a yeah, song. People don't like to have straighten the mirror shop. Have straighten. to look themselves in the mirror. Straight, um, straighten. Yeah, give them some straightening. Yeah. yeah, people don't want that. I called mm-hmm. Brett and asked Brett this week for some damn straight to tell me if I'm wrong or not. Mm-hmm. That's just I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, you, you care, but you, you still going to be who you are and you want to see whether other people agree with how you are. Like I said, I know, I know you, I know your heart. That's all that matters. People can't, people want, people want you to react a certain way when you're you. You're going to react like Lewis reacts. You're and right. either you deal with it or you don't. I don't yeah. want a puppet Lewis. I want Lewis. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no motherfucking. <laughs> what is this? It's a cigar. Okay. And it ain't no motherfucking. Uh, aust- what's it? A U T I S M? What? Autism? Yeah, I don't got no motherfucking no, autism. You don't, you don't have no autism, no. For sure. Uh, let's get you to got too, now. You got too much uh, managerial skills and you know processing how no, you deal you with people that. Yeah, you still get. Ha, ha, I guess I don't. I don't know. I like science, so that's weird for a black guy. <laughs> and we go talk about. I talked to Brent. If if Brandon wanted to take my advice on that hero Gina, what he got in the backyard. Oh, okay. I think he'll like it, and especially in South Carolina, in the summertime, you'll be making combos and motherfucker. Every thirty days, you have combos yeah. on oh, your yeah, ass. Okay. But it's it's it's, it's things you have to do. If Brandon wants the information, I do, and I want yeah. to do a show on some of this kind of stuff because people say they want to do something, they think it's too expensive, but no, it's not, it's not, and it's gonna yield a lot of good stuff if you're trying to grow stuff. So, and I think it's helpful. It, and you could get outside, and unlike what Brandon doing now, he can't provide bacteria to his yard. Yeah. So what compost gonna do is gonna take that bacteria. Reproduce it. That's what your plant ropes. And mm-hmm. Brandon gonna put that uh bacteria back on his yard. Because mm-hmm. you can't you you can't do it without compost, and that's really how you're supposed to eat plants. Brandon, okay. right now going to what's that store you go to Lowe's? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and buy that man-made fertilizer. Yeah, it's not the, the same. La- the lady said a plant could grow with three things: phosphates, potassium. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. nitrogen, mm-hmm. any plant could grow, but to make it take good, make it taste good, you need every element in the damn uh periodic table to make it taste good. I got you, and that's and, what compost does. And kind of like what we talked about before, like products early on in 2008 compared to now 2024, they're not the same. So the soil and stuff is it's watered down, it's cut, it's it doesn't have the same nutrients. Like it's you've it got a lot of wood chips and just miscellaneous filler parts that's going to hurt your garden instead of helping it. I haven't tasted good chicken since 2010. <laughs> I haven't tasted good chicken 
And where where was it when you where you got it? No, it's the regular grocery store, food line. Okay. What this grocery store? So it's just store. all all chicken yeah. in general. I have it. You got taste you. it good. Only way you can taste good chicken now, you got to cook it like an expert. And I'm black. All right, people. I can't so cook chicken mean? like white folks. And what does that mean? The son of a bitch can't be red in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> juicy red in the middle, Brandon. Okay. Okay, I'm playing. It can't be real juice, too juicy <laughs> white. If it's too yeah, juicy it's a thin white. Line. It's a thin line when you're doing chicken for sure. <laughs> and back in the day, I didn't have to know nothing about cooking. And the chicken it just always come out. out good. Yeah, it come out good. Now you gotta try to bullshit on some chicken. Bitch, be nasty. <laughs> right. That's why you got to all these sauces. Brandon worked at a restaurant, fucking up a hot dog with all the damn <laughs> sauces like that. See, man, that's that's cause the shit ain't right. <laughs> all right, cause you know that, Brandon. Is that, is that true, or is people like a people like too many options nowadays? They nah, like a bunch of dorm. Every time you go to a play, they. <laughs> yeah, that's what much. people like. That's what people like. If if it looks boring, they don't they don't really want to they don't really want to look at. It. They want to see little fancy patterns and water down and mayonnaise stuff. with some pepper in it, Brandon. That's what people want. <laughs> yes, they do. They so they take a picture. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Sport it on the, yeah, it on the with, side. With the sport peppers on it. Yes, yeah, that's what they want. Yeah, and with a breast of parsley. Come yeah. on, uh, people. Jesus mm. Christ, that's what I may. Hey, I ain't tasted a good piece of chicken since 2010. Yeah, and oh, you remember the gas it. station by our house? They used to have what 50 cent hot dogs. Hot dogs are pretty good. We ain't have a bunch of fancy stuff on it. Now, I'm just saying this for, from a kid's point of view now. Okay, man, was, back then, them hot dogs was disgusting. I used to eat them. <laughs> right, that's what I said. It was good. It was good. They were disgusting. But they're disgusting, you, but they're good. Once they, a Hebrew national or Nathan's <laughs> touch your damn mouth. Well, see, now you, <laughs> now you're culture and you, you see things differently. But back then, that was a decent hot dog, correct? Yeah, you're right. And I used to... Back then, I used some things I eat sloppy. Mm. Gas station hot dogs, I eat a little sloppy, a little bit. Right? Did you did you need a fancy? No, you need a fancy. Yeah, I made it fancy. What you think I put on okay, my hot well, dogs, Brandon? Everything the they had, all the dips. <laughs> <laughs> I get my money's okay. worth. So you you uh, yeah. brother, this is what you do. So it's different. You take that plastic thing, open it up. Uh huh. I said, Daddy, got all this coleslaw. You got right? relish coleslaw. <laughs> no, nah, you damn near get a side of coleslaw on the hot dog, Brandon. <laughs> yeah. Right. I used to have all that motherfucker filled up with them. Load it up, right, right. Eat the, the coleslaw first. <laughs> and it's not to see, this is what used to be broke being fun. But uh -huh. broke, but you didn't know you was broke, yeah, broke. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Eat the coleslaw first, then you enjoy your hot dog. Yeah, that's, that's how right. I used to do the right. motherfucker. Right. And gas was, what, a dollar something? You, a dollar and some change. And they say mm -hmm. you could get a bag of chips and a fountain drink. For a dollar and twenty five cents, yeah. I said, "Give me the whole thing." <laughs> he was okay. He was, that, it that was a good day. Yeah, good I just day. finished working fourteen hours, making forty thousand dollars a year. <laughs> <laughs> working fourteen hours, five days a motherfucking week. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, know, and the motherfucking temperature was a hundred degrees. Yeah. Then on the coldest days back then in the early two thousand, it was a 13 what? degree you went outside to warm up they I, that's why i try to say if you wanted to warm up you went outside i got you in the snow <laughs> <laughs> you know and this that's, is in north carolina or this is when you was in I was no, this, in, this is in north carolina okay so audience see who you're getting here you're getting real life blue collar blue collar blue collar guys mm -hmm. you know talking about hot dogs how to scam them <laughs> Put the coleslaw <laughs> heavy on one side and uh, bring a fork. All right. Do that. You, I, I don't think they have a setup like that. Like they have QTs. I don't know if they got them up there. They got the hot dogs on there. They got some condiments. Would you do a Would you do a hot dog like that today? Brandon, at least I at least ate a hot dog during the pandemic. Brandon in a <laughs> store. Okay. Yeah, I got let. Okay. Did it I, taste the same? Okay, it was it the same feeling? Go ahead. Last year. In South Carolina, two notch at the gas station mm -hmm. by the Spring Valley area. Oh, okay. I went in there. The store used it. to be white owned. You know, that's mm -hmm. when white 
people own everything. One now, you know, we got the Asians, uh, Carmela Harris at the front door. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Carmela Harris at the front door, but they still got the hot dogs in the back. Uh-huh. And I got me two of them hot dogs. That lady took that thing, dip it dead off that damn hot dog water. <laughs> so I said, make it all the way, Jack. <laughs> got it all the way. Them hot dogs didn't last a mile down the road. Okay, and they were good. You you were you were satisfied. I, just I was that. satisfied. I said, Oh, I didn't have a good gas station hot dog like right. this in alone. The kind of hot dog just sitting in lukewarm water. <laughs> The kind of hot dog sitting in Luke Lord water, you know, and, and you get it, and the motherfucker droops like this <laughs> when they do it. Right. The chili right. came out of a crock pot, mm-hmm. and you knew the lady back there smoked cigarettes. She looked like a Marlboro light lady. <laughs> right. And man, but, that motherfucker, two hot dogs, a soda. How much was it? Uh, chips in 2023. That bitch was like 14 motherfucking dollars. <laughs> I think them and I think them hot dogs was only like four. Right. right. But that it's it's a big difference for how it used to be and now, but you know. It yeah, took no. you back a little bit, probably, I'm sure. Yeah, and that was last year. Do I eat hot dog? Yes. <laughs> and when I go to South Carolina in the next well around Thanksgiving, mm, the holidays. I'm stopping them by the cookout. Okay. You get and a hot I, dog from cookout? Hell no. <laughs> get one of them hot dogs from cookout. You crazy? <laughs> My okay. daughter used to eat those, and she stopped eating them after a while. Of course, because she's adolescent. She don't know no better. <laughs> right. Right? Right, correct. Yeah, I'm I get a... no hot dog. Give me the tray. Okay, I want the burger tray and the fries. Would you get a burger tray? Yeah. I said, okay. do you want cheese on that? I said, do it all the way. Right. I say the same thing. And guess what? I'm fat. Right. Give me that sweet tea. <laughs> or the milkshake. You know? Nah, I, I, I said I'm fat. And hey, give me a mocha milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I do every time I go on 95 between okay. Washington, D.C. and Richmond, okay. Virginia. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. I All got right. You. When I used to go up from North Carolina mm-hmm. to Virginia, I said, let me go by Davis on 95 and let me get some of those, those uh, cracklings. Okay. So you still eat those. It's been a minute nah, since I, uh, I'm not... What's the last time I've been on that route, Bernie? I'm not sure you tell me. It's and that's about the last years. time I ate them. So mm-hmm. I probably ate maybe five packages or six packages over the course of eight years. So, uh, Bernie, I still <laughs> eat them. I, I would. <laughs> would you eat them? I'm not opposed to eat yeah. them. I, I try to stay away from them, but, you know, that's, boy, that's some good shit right there, though. Boy, I've been frying up some bacon every day for the past six days, Bernie. <laughs> Right, my mama just got back from my grandparents' house, and she was like, "Baby, I, I fried up a whole pack of uh, bacon." It's talking about her house was smelling like bacon. I said, "I know that bacon was good." And I and saved it. them drippings. I <laughs> saved the drippings too. For two and years I for said, what? Oh, shit, you know what to use them for? Yeah, that's <laughs> what. Well, see, I'm not an expert. Ki- I'm not an expert in the kitchen like you. Go ahead. Tell or me. down on the pan. Okay. okay. On your stainless steel pan, you can do uh-huh. any pan, but stainless steel. Lubricated. Imagine me lubricated with some bacon grease. Whew. And then you put a piece of chicken breast on there. Now, <laughs> branded chicken breast got olive oil, like we usually do, or vegetable Machine oil. oil. <laughs> Even worse, vegetable oil worse than all of them. Right. Who chicken going to taste better? The with this salt and the, pepper. I ain't just putting salt and pepper. But the this salt and one. pepper. The bacon fat one. The bacon fat. But it ain't that much bacon fat, Brandon. Well, but I'm just it's saying. just. It just yeah. makes it. It's just that devil, it that play, devil play juice. <laughs> it just makes it. Boy, I've been yeah. eating them bacon. Boy, I, I now I see why the man. You like your bacon crispy or crunchy, Brandon? What's the difference? Tell me, I don't no, like no, it. No, no, like, loose. You know, hold on. You like it transparent? No, uh-uh. loose or crispy? <laughs> crispy. I would say crispy. I mean, when you lift it up, it. Lifts I wanted up, to be some fat. Like I want, yeah. I don't want to see through it. 
Like, I, if I do turkey bacon, I don't want it to be looking white. Oh, no, no, no. First, no, don't fuck this conversation up. Well, but see, but see, bacon. this is the thing. I can't lie and act like I've been eating bacon, though. Like, you know bacon. your memory will work, <laughs> don't it? I'm I'm telling you what I do and what I see when I see turkey bacon, though. So I'm no, I'm no, assuming, no, no. I'm Brandon, assuming you, the bacon works the same way. It, it, Brandon, I haven't no. cooked it in a long time. But you go ahead. Talk, I'm telling, oh, Lord, I'm Brandon, telling you the truth. You want me to lie on here? I can't lie. Brandon. Go ahead. I could go up, go up to a pig right now, slap the back of that ass. No, slap under that belly, and that's what? the bacon. Okay. Your turkey bacon mm-hmm. went to ten million chickens, mm-hmm. a horse, a cow, <laughs> okay. and a whole bunch of but, chemicals. Okay. Compressed it. Okay. Unless you buy the good stuff, which you probably ain't. Okay, but go ahead. Man, I ain't the damn. But they thing. still cook up the same the way I remember because the it's a still a slim uh, piece that's. That's lighter than the other piece because that's how that's just how bacon is. Your your so, turkey is made with that, Brandon. That's a dye you eat. That's can that's a cancer cows okay. and dye you eating, Brandon. Fine, that's, fine. That, that, that's what we do. That's what we do when we're eating that kind of stuff. But what I'm saying is the coloring on the turkey bacon is resemble because I don't like the bacon burnt. That's what I'm trying to say. So some of it's gonna be translucent, some of them's gonna be hard. But like I said, I haven't had bacon in I don't know how many years, so I can't sit up here and act like I have. I was making a perfect bacon the last two days, Brandon. And how how was it perfect though? That's what I'm trying to get. I was at. making it crispy for the four days before it, a little crispy. But you but, can you can still bend it a little bit, right? You can still bend without, it without without it breaking. It like, but that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Okay. But I was because you can overdo it where it's it's all the way hard. But some people like their bacon like that. Where but if you bend I, it, it'll crack. I was making it, Brandon. Fully cooked, mm-hmm. no transparency. Uh-huh. Even the fat, the fat that means the fat, the fat turned part. to a crisp. Okay, like a, like it's meat, but it's really fat, but it turned to a crisp. But that's still not and, kind of translucent. Uh, uh, I, I told you I was cooking a perfect brand. Can't you hear? Well, I, I, Listen, I have words, not looked. Man. I have not looked at bacon cooked like that, in I don't know how long. I ain't have no picture of, of how. I bacon had two looked. pieces of bacon. I'm that little fat bacon. piece. That little and fat you, piece you was talking about, Brandon, uh-huh, I took that fork for about 30 seconds. Uh-huh. Push that fat, that piece of fat that tried to bubble up so it couldn't get <laughs> it couldn't get crispy. Uh-huh. I just scaled that mother sucker down and that <laughs> to it got crispy. Okay. okay. And, I, and then I, I pulled looked, it up. Okay, go ahead. Then everything was loose. Everything was still floppy. Yeah, yeah. But fully cooked. I guess. No transparency. But, but what I'm saying, okay, because I, like I said, I kind of forgot. So it's not, but it's two different tones. You can tell the part that's the meat, and you can tell the part that's the fat. Where I'll pick Co- up, correct. Okay, because that's what I said. I haven't even seen bacon in a while, and can't really think about how you, when you cook it, what it looks like. So when I you buy you. bacon, what part do you look for, Brandon? Which one you want to buy? I, first of all, I don't buy bacon, but you want to buy the. I'll you will want to get the thick cut. And where you can see the difference, like you can, I like kind of like how meat is. That's I, that's if you buy in the state, that's how I, I would look at it. Okay. All right, all right. So you want to buy you any cut you want to because that's your thing, but you want to buy the one with the most meat in it. it but it depends because some people like the fat, now, don't you? Now, now, if you're trying to season it or get the drippings like I'm trying to do, mm-hmm. or it's yes, but you want to buy the piece with the most meat in it. But let me ask you this: What part do you like the best? Because I kind of like the fat. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. The here's like the thing. Go ahead. The fat transparent. You can't eat it. That's for the other folks. <laughs> Too crispy folks? makes uh-huh. everything taste the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very hard to do it. Uh, uh, not transparent <laughs> and still fully cooked. Uh, well, and you get way, the whole slice. I know we way off, but you know I'm I'm gonna ask you this. You know, I'm setting you up. How do you cook your bacon? You cook it in the microwave. You cook it in the air fryer. You cook it on the skillet. How do you do your bacon? It's called uh, equipment availability, Brandon. That's what okay. it's called. Equipment availability. Okay. When I was working in, uh, when I first moved up here, I cooked that bacon in the microwave at work. <laughs> Horrible tasting. It still do the job. Okay, from, from nothing. You... From the start, like just raw meat. Yeah, what did they bacon in? But, but do they not have do they not have pre-cooked bacon? Some people some people buy that. I see that in the store. I'm too. I'm referring to all uh what bacon you have to cook. <laughs> okay. To make sure ain't the worms out of there. 
right. That's why you got to cook it. Okay. And then I did the air fry. If I'm pushed for time, but I just want to do something quick. I push for time. I can't be up there with it. I do the air fryer. Mm-hmm. But to make it perfect, you got to cook it over the skillet. I got you. Or ba- you can bake way. it. Yeah. My parent, my family bakes it. Uh, my mom got about my mom got the timing about right because she mm-hmm. got the timing when everything still be crispy but it ain't hard hard. I got you. 